Kitchen, I'm Julia. So today I'm going to show you how to make my version of a Greek meatloaf. Here in Denmark we call this Grask Farsbrød, which is translated into a Greek meatloaf. It is just so, so good and so, so easy to make, so let's get started. So what I will be using for this meatloaf here are some salt feta cheese, some salt and pepper, and here I have some minced beef, some finely chopped parsley. I have just taken a little over a large handful and then I would use one egg, some roughly chopped onion, some crushed garlic, some milk and some already cooked rice. So first up I'm going to make my filling. So that is me mixing feta cheese, my onion and my parsley, my garlic in and even with some pepper. mix this until it's all well combined. And now I'm going to mix my minced beef together with my cooked rice and my egg and my milk and some pepper to mix this until it's all well combined. And now I'm ready to assemble my meat loaf and I have already turned on my oven to 180 degrees C convention oven. So into my tray here I am just going to add some of my meat and rice mix. And now I'm just going to add on my rest of my meat and rice mix and I'm going to use my fingers for this because I have to cover all of the filling with this and kind of shave it into a meat loaf as nice as I can. So I really hope you enjoyed my recipe for a homemade Greek meatloaf and just remember that we are calling this a Greek meatloaf in Denmark. I'm not really sure if they in Greece call this a Greek meatloaf uh, but that is what we are calling it here in Denmark. So if you want to give it a go just go down in the description and you will find all the ingredients down there. This meatloaf here got around 55 minutes in the oven and don't forget to subscribe to my channel here and I hope to see you all again tomorrow. Bye!